What's going on everyone? My name is Josh19 and today I wanted to show you guys how to create a custom sound for notifications on T-Notifier. Uh, this is pretty basic and um, if you guys already have a notification sound or something like that uh, that's already cut and already it is like two to three seconds or something like that then it's pretty simple all you have to do is upload that sound and you're good to go. Uh, this In this case what I'm going to be showing you guys is actually uh, cutting a section of a song or something like that. So um, let me go ahead and demonstrate what I'm what I'm going to be using here. So this is the notification and of course as you can hear this uh, little sound clip that I put in there that was uh, cut from a song. The song that I'm going to be using here is actually um, a clip or actually a song from the CD from The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Uh, so this is just the title so again if we preview this uh, you can hear the whole uh, section of the song. So I just cut out that very beginning section of the song there uh, to use for my notification sound. So um, basically in this demonstration, like I said, what we're going to do is just cut out that section that we want to use. And again, it doesn't have to be at the front. It can be in the middle or at the end or wherever you want. Uh, but this is to actually show you guys how to cut that out and, and then take that into T-Notifier. So the first thing we want to do is open up a program called Audacity. Um, I will add this program down in the description for you, or a link to the program uh, in the description for you guys. It's a free program, so I'll just give you guys the uh, the link to download it in the description, so that way it'll make it easy for you guys. So once you have Audacity open, all you have to do is go ahead and grab your song that you're using and drag it in. So that what this is going to do is it's going to bring the whole song in, and of course, again, if we hit play, we can preview it. So what I want to do is actually cut it before it hits that second guitar strum. Um, I guess it's a guitar. <laughs> I don't know what, what instrument it is. Um, but And then I want to cut out the little tiny section of silence in the beginning. And there we go. I mean, that's basically what I want to cut to use for my, my, uh, my notification sound. Again, you want to keep this pretty short and simple. Um, you don't want a long sound or anything like that. And I'll explain that in just a minute on why that could cause you some problems when we get into T-Notifier. So now that we have this little sound uh, sound clip, and again, the tools that I use to, to actually cut this is, basically all I use is a selection tool, which is up here, and it looks like the little uh, selection. And all you do is just click on it and drag, and you can make a selection. And then you just hit the delete on your keyboard to delete that. So again, if you have something in the middle, you can delete what's before, and then uh, select and delete what's after if you want. And then you'll get your section. Once you have your section of the clip, or section of the song, for your clip, you're going to go ahead and go to File and Export. Then you can go ahead and save it wherever. In this case, I'm just going to save it over that other follower sound that I used for that demo for you guys. And um, we'll just go ahead and save it over top of it. Yeah, we'll replace it. Uh, the Edit Metadata, you don't have to enter any of this. If you already have a song, most most of the time this will already be automatically filled out. Um, but you don't have to do it. It's It really doesn't matter at all. So once we go ahead and save that, we now have it on our desktop. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and bring up T-Notifier. And then once we have T-Notifier up, we're going to go ahead and go to our Widgets tab, and we're going to edit our widget. So what we're going to do here is, um, of course, we're going to be uploading it to our, our sounds here, our subscriber sound, follower sound, and donation sound. Um, you can make these different for each one of these, or you can make them all the same if you want. In this case, I'm just going to be showing you guys the follower sound because that's how we're going to be using in this demo. So as I was mentioning before, basically if you have a like a full song, for example, like a minute and 30 second song, and you upload that song as your follower sound, when someone follows you, uh, you're going to see the, the notification for, for example, in my case, my alert link is only uh, five seconds. So you're going to see the notification for five seconds, but the song is going to continue for the whole minute and a half. Um, so even if other people follow, you'll still see the alert uh, will keep popping down, but you're going to be hearing the song the whole entire time. So what you need to make sure you do is when you're making a, uh, an actual clip for your, your follower sound here, you need to make sure that it's less than the, your actual alert length so it doesn't conflict with, with future alert lengths. Because uh, that totally makes or defeats the purpose of having a follower sound if it's just playing a whole entire song or something like that. So um, again, in this case, we made it. We made ours in, in Audacity, as you can see here. Uh, looks like it's about three seconds is the one that we made. As you can see, the five here—that's the five-second mark. So 
so we made ours about three seconds, which is perfectly fine. You want to just keep it less than your alert length or um, up to the same same amount of seconds as your alert length. So uh, as we're in here, we're going to go ahead and once, you, once you're in here, you're going to go ahead and click down the, the little box here that will probably, for in your case, say chime I'm raising. Um, you're going to just click on it and then select custom. And then you're going to choose file. And then we're going to go ahead and, and find the file that we saved from Audacity. Again, in, in my case, it's just called follower sound and it's on my desktop. We're going to hit open and then all we're going to do is hit edit widget. What, what that's going to do is it's going to go ahead and save it. And then when you launch your widget and you hit send test, test notification, uh, you're going to go ahead and hear your little notification sound. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys that because I know a couple people were asking about it. And uh, again, this is really only relevant if you're actually cutting a section out of a song. If you already have just a small notification clip that's, you know, two or three seconds, then all you have to do is just upload it uh, where I had showed you guys in, in there as your actual custom sound. So um, I, again, I just want to show you guys that uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos in the future, then please subscribe. And don't forget to keep on owning.